Hey, what's up guys? Theo Tolliver with Fish Addictions TV and I'm checking in from Central North Dakota. Today I am fishing on one of the prairie lakes out here targeting perch and walleye. Uh, the ice conditions are pretty pretty safe to travel on with the truck. There's still about two and a half feet of ice. However, there are some slush pockets and the shoreline may start to deteriorate with the warm temps. But with that being said, the ice we still have plenty of ice out here out there. So uh, I encourage you guys to go out there and uh, go fishing. Uh, with that being said, the fishing has been great. Uh, concentrating my depths anywhere between about 14 to 15 feet of water. And I've been using uh, small tungsten jigs with either wax worms, beaver tail, or uh, a whole minnow. And so far that seems to be the ticket. Um, and literally the, the bite has been all day. Like literally there hasn't been a lull in the moment for fishing. And so yeah, I'm still marking fish down here right now. And yeah, so I highly encourage you guys to come out here. Uh, get in my, that hot late ice, late ice bite and enjoy the rest of March Madness. So cool. So good luck and tight line guys. Hey guys, Josh here checking in from the southeastern part of North Dakota. Um, today, you know, it is gorgeous out. I decided to get out, go chase some walleyes and some perch. Um, perch weren't really cooperative today. So with that being said, the walleyes, they were a little bit more cooperative. Generally what I do in these sloughs when I'm fishing walleyes is target the old shoreline breaks. I found one here that's in about 25 feet of water that comes right off of a point. And then there's weeds up on top of the point. This is one of the key spots for me that I like to try. So with that being said, you know, my go-to baits today. This morning it started off with a flutter spoon, any kind of flutter spoon. For some reason I wanted bright colors with this high sun. I don't get it. Normally I like the natural colors. But as the days progressed, you know, I've noticed that they're starting to shy away from that more. The more I rip it, the more they want to get away from it. So I slowed things down with a buckshot spoon with more of a natural perch color, and it seems to be working. Um, tipping those with a minnow head um, has been key. You know, it's been a pretty darn good day of, you know, who can complain about the weather. But uh, your guys' ice conditions, you know, we got anywhere between two and four foot of ice. Plenty of good ice left. Uh, there is a lot of snowpack left. Um, I don't recommend venturing out without tracks unless you plan on walking out. Nobody wants to get stuck this time of year. It's too nice and you're going to sweat a lot. Um, you know, guys, weather's going to really keep picking up here. The snow is going to melt completely. You're going to be able to get out there driving around. Um, fishing gets really good this time of year. You know, it's not going to get any worse, obviously, but uh, enjoy it while we got it, guys. It's going to come to an end here really quickly. Till next time, guys, tight lines. Hey, what's up, guys? Josh checking in with the fly fishing report. So our big snow melt is done and over with. Um, during that snow melt, generally, you want to stop fishing after about 3 o'clock when the day starts warming up and that snow melts and the cold water enters the streams and cools them off a few degrees and kind of shuts the fish down but we're past that it's been out the last few days um and it seems like it just gets better and better the later in the day that it goes uh, more fish activity seen a lot of midge activity yesterday with the sunshine um up on top but today as you can see it's Pretty overcast, uh, light rain off and on, but it's a really good day of fishing. Got some decent, decent browns, uh, nice real colored up brookie, and the first time ever, um, I generally fish two flies when I'm nymph fishing uh, under an indicator. You know, just show two different offerings to the fish, and they can pick which one they want. But Indicator dropped, set the hook, and I had two brook trout on, one on each fly. That was pretty neat. I've never done that before. But, streams are in really good shape. Pretty much all the snow is gone. There's a little bit left in the north facing slopes. But I think we are what we can call spring down here in the Driftless. Should just keep getting better and better. I'm um, still waiting to see blue winged olives and caddises starting to go, but that should be a couple weeks. That's what I got for you guys this week. Tight lines, and I'll check you later. Chad Smith with Fish Addictions TV and Tintus Outdoors. As you can see, there's a lot of ice. 
I'm reporting from the Otter Tail Battle Lake area. And uh, this is my favorite time of year to be out here fishing. We're out here in ball caps, sweatshirts, and it's 45 degrees. Ice conditions are pretty good um, as far as thickness. What we're finding is there's um, slush pockets with a thin layer of crust on top. So even ATV travels getting a little sketchy. Um, the access points on the lake are getting worn out a little bit. Um, a little bit of open water from all the gravel being pulled onto the ice from the vehicles throughout the winter. What we've been doing recently is hitting holes in weed beds. Um, what we're doing is finding a hole in a flat, weed flat, that goes down to, let's say, 18 to 20 foot. And what's funny is, is, is you'll set up before dark and we're picking off a few sunfish here and there, but uh, as uh, the sun sets and starts getting dark, these crappies, they were sitting on the bottom and all of a sudden they start moving up. And right now with the sunlight starting to penetrate the ice and a uh, little bit of water trickling down in, they're starting to get rejuvenized with oxygen. And these fish are coming off the bottom, suspending, and they're getting really aggressive. Uh, tipping with minnows, waxies, I have the whole arsenal. So bring it all with you. Enjoy this nice weather on the ice.